What is that? <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely not in the beat. Yeah. So like, when we, cause it came on, it's like number two, and that's just like it was loud as hell. I don't know if it was like our studio speakers. I don't know what it was, but that's just say. Like, I looked at him and was like, all right, where is he going with this? Right. As the beat dropped and it like his his flow came in and it blended in was perfect. perfect. I was like, okay, cool. Props. the whole damn field, I'ma get lazy. For that to be number one without no video and all that, you know, all that extra shit, that's what you call good motherfucking music. It was cold outside. It was cold it outside. It was hot in the studio. It was cold everywhere but our room. Right. We have our days where like we're on and we off. You know what I'm saying? And this was the night where we were just off, but we just knew, like, bro, we didn't drive all the way out here for nothing. So let's get these, like, let's try to get, like, two more beats out the way. I got, like, a whole bunch of stuff. So, like, I went to, like, this, this, this VST. For all you fuckers out there that think it's a sample, it's not a sample. Not a sample. I pulled up SRX Orchestra. There y'all go. Y'all can go run through that now. All right. So, look, we went through that. Because when I pressed played on it, I was like, damn. He turned around and looked at me. And it always happens like that. Like, when we making beats together, he might hear a sound, he might play something, and he look back at me and he'd be like, yeah, nay. And I'd be like, eh, or yeah, that's what it was. As soon as he played it, it was like, yeah. When I was done laying that one sound down, I said, okay, cool. How can we make it fit into what's going on right now. We came back and we was like, okay, we finna hit this rolling SRX orchestra one more time. We heard this sound and I played some like chords over it. All that's played, my nigga. Stop no samples. playing me, bro. Stop, stop playing, playing with him. Like, stop playing with me, bro. With us. So, yeah, us. But stop playing with me <laughs> right now, my nigga. For real. So, I played all of that. From there, we went to um, RC20. Yeah, I can have that sauce. Everybody has that. But do you know how to use it? Though? Do you know how to use it? So, we actually put a little EQ on it down here, fellas, ladies, everybody's making beats. It's an EQ thing down here. You can EQ it out. Um, so, I'll play it without none of that on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it sounds totally different. Then we put this space thing on there, which makes it like, it's like a reverb, so it makes it sound bigger. Then we took it and put this thing called Wobble on it. A lot of people, when y'all watch this, y'all gonna be like, oh, it's a simple beat and all that. Like, we know that. Duh. Like, we know that. We know what we did. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. How, how did a simple beat get number one? That's where y'all fuck up at because y'all don't like to make simple shit sometimes. I mean, I know that goddamn shit. Just let the artist rap. Um, From there, I want to say he did the hi-hat. Well, he did the hi-hats. But like I want to say, was really did like I add the 808 first? Or no, like, the clap always come in first. Yeah. And then on, if for the Fruity Loop, Fruity Loop users, you know, like you can right click on it and fill every two steps. That's really how it starts. And then from there, he really went and freaked the hi-hat. So I guess we just played a real actual hi-hat. So it's not just a t -t -t -t, you know, it's, it give you a little extra to it, which once he starts rapping and it also helps with his cadence and that's pretty much. You feel me? We decided to go to the 808. Everybody wants to know how the reverse 808 was done. Nah, ah, ah. I ain't going to hold you. I can't pull that up, but I'll play it for y'all. Shout out my little, my little niggas in, you know what I'm saying, uh, for coming up with the short old, good old 808. Um, you came up with the actual 808, which was dope. There um, you go, Z. Get yeah, your props, go, okay? God damn. So we'll just play the 808 pattern by itself. I ain't. Even, I can't even pull it open for y'all, man, because y'all just... Nope, y'all be struggling too. We hear you struggling trying to make this this 808. And it's really simple. That's the crazy thing Good about it. Luck. Like, I ain't, man, I don't want to hear none of that shit in the comments, bro. That shit is just really simple, bro.
you know how to use Fruit Loops, yeah, then you would know what we did. We actually did two 808 patterns. Uh, the second 808 pattern is in the actual verse. We have one more sound, and I'm like, right now, everybody's doing this, which is just putting this hard symbol on the one. And basically, that was it. The E Earth sound is definitely not in the beat. And we wouldn't put it in the beat because I felt like if we would have put it in the beat and sent it to Roddy, definitely would have threw him off. But I'm happy that, like, he did it, you know what I'm saying? Instead of us doing it, because like, look what happened. All we really did from there was just like actually mix the sounds itself. Listen, mix them, put them together, EQ, blend them. So like <laughs> basically everything put together. I done put a hundred bands on Zimmerman shit. I've been moving real games, I saw that spot she pick a crit. Shotty call me Chris Cole, cause I pop my shit. What separates Roddy from these other niggas that's out here is definitely his voice. You may not be from the hood, you know what I'm saying? But you definitely feel what he talking about. I feel like he's the, the hottest young nigga out right now. Busting all the bells out the box. I just hit a lick with the box. Had to put the stick in the box. When I felt like it was a hit, just scrolling down my Instagram, man, and every story, every post, is eater like you can't deny the eater the memes definitely do a lot to a song one of my favorite memes i've seen on twitter or instagram is the spongebob in the box what the how are you two making that noise ah, what noise squidward We've been working so long, so for this to be like all three hour, like first number one, man, I ain't gonna hold you. That's pretty motherfucking fire. It's dope. It definitely changed my life because it's like, you know, we had a lot of people doubting us. This is definitely life changing because like, look, we back again. You know what I'm saying? Like, we strike. You hear the song all day, you have no choice but to know it's it. If you don't recognize that, then you don't have a good eater. <laughs> this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I think about taking my kids to Disneyland. This nigga. Thank you, Roddy. <laughs> e er, shit, Mickey E er. <laughs> <laughs>